Hello and welcome to another episode of Magic and More, where it turns out my Cloak of Darkness is actually way cooler than I thought. All will be revealed on the After the Show show. Whoa. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Fuck me. It, it, it doesn't help Whoa. that for the whole of the first fight, I didn't hit anything once. Really? So you, was a man, you was a man down the whole time. I didn't hit anything once. Yeah, and then also, uh, for, for the second half of the fight, um, you know, Dick Splash here put himself in an ice wall he couldn't do fuck all about. <laughs> and then realised he could do everything about it because he was a fucking Muppet. So... When Matt sent me a DM's whisper about my, what my awakened Cloak of Darkness does, I've actually read the description, right? The reason the Cloak of, Dark, the Cloak of Darkness and this sexy shadow man is so familiar, if I actually read the equipment description again, it's it's a cloak created by the Queen of Air and Darkness herself for her long lost lover. So it's created by the Dark Fae Queen for her long lost lover, which is probably um, Sexy Pants. And he, he might want it back. Okay. Oh, oh good. Oh, good. Great. That's <laughs> just one other person. <laughs> but now it's awakened. Fuck me. I have... I've got four charges instead of two now. Yeah. Um, it gives me advantage on stealth checks whilst moving silently. So technically, I don't need my um, elven boots that I used to have for advantage on stealth checks anymore. Nice. I uh, that's only can why you're use... invisible, though, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Good point. So I do need my boots back. Keep, keep, yeah, keep your oven boots that you don't have anymore. Yeah, keep them. Yeah. While <laughs> whilst wearing the cloak, I can use one of its charges to cast either the alter self spell or the pass without a trace spell. I didn't know oh, what Pastor Trace is. Yes. Oh, so, Alter yes. Self, I can be aquatic, I can have claws and fangs and shit, and then yeah. Alter Self, That's all of cool. us could disappear and leave a situation, which I was tempted to do in that fight, but there was only one of them left by the time I'd realised. Also, I can now include somebody else in the invisibility spell, so I can wrap it around me and someone else. Whoa. Yeah. It's huge. It's huge. Uh, pass without a trace, you're gonna like this. Gives yeah. you a plus ten to stealth. Yep. And stealth. everyone else in the third yep. everybody is, Everyone. Yeah. Everybody will Which means it. Ander can roll like what? I'll have plus a eighteen. Thirty nine now. Yeah. Plus eighteen on stealth. That's cool, isn't it? But So you can roll a forty eight technically because, on a not a natural but, twenty. Yeah, because nice. Matt was in a rush, he scribbled out a part of the description, so so I take that to mean there's there's a bit above awakened, but there's even more stuff. Or is that just another <laughs> homebrew item? Oh boy. oh boy! Wow! Wow! Oh, that's good. That's very handy. But it's anno I'm annoyed with myself that I forgot it was a Fey cloak made by the evil Seely Queen when we was in the Fey Dark. I, I, I didn't twig until we'd left. I mean, there was there was a lot going on today. <laughs> there was a lot going on today. Um, there was a lot. <laughs> yeah. I need, and when I, I realised, and when Matt was like, oh, you see him one last time, he didn't give me a chance to speak to him. I was going to go, do you want your cloak back or what? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm going to get this cloak back. <laughs> I'm going to need that. <sighs> so, do you know what? The past two fights have been, I think, very potent on Dargon and his fighting styles. More of what has worked and what has failed. And a that's direction good. that he's going to be pushed towards, I think. Good. I think that's okay. very, very been very interesting that, you know, all the other special abilities that might be really helpful have not been helpful at all. 
and have really wasted his efforts. So that's very interesting one. It's those that's situations spell. where you figure your characters out because yeah. I think previously there may be some things that you've got you just like you get away with them. Yeah. And they work in the moment, but when it really matters suddenly yeah. They're just not worth it. Yeah. That's the same thing with me. I'm not using any of my rogue spells. Although I, I did try and use Witchbolt. That's mainly because like, I want to change my grow class, but also well, no, 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 it's, that... it's mainly because you every time you cast a spell, you suffer a penalty. But well, yeah, but I mean, in general, they don't seem to lend themselves to the situation that we're in. I don't even use Mage Hand that often anymore. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like. Ice knife, witch bow. I don't really use them very often because me bow and arrow that I used to have was was better. <laughs> <sighs> I was gonna at the start of the session as well. Just wish for all my stuff back. I'd prepared the word in. I sent it to Matt in advance so he could prepare any consequences. And then you were like, "Let's just get your acorn first and see how we get on." Uh, you had the choice. Like, you had the choice. <laughs> It was an True. offer. It was it was get yourself better or not your choice. I was tempted in the first fight and the second fight to use one of my turns to just wish for my stuff back. But then I thought, oh, if it goes wrong halfway through a fight, it could, could make it worse. <laughs> and well, you two are all close to me to chuck a fireball anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously I hope that you can use your second wish to do so. Um, but that was clutch. What you did today, that was amazing. I even had it really that uh, the Dargan was going to go up to you and do, um, you know, the healing light. Wouldn't have done anything. It would have wasted his bonus action. But you are unconscious, and what else do you do? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So actually, the fact that you went there first was very, very cool. Very and cool indeed. Luckily, because I did it just to cast any a spell, I can still use it again. But I, I, yeah. I was thinking, I was toying with, oh, wishing fun. for my stuff back, and then wishing the Eladrin dead is is a bit of a hard spell. Wishing to know what the prophecy is is a bit of a hard spell. Toying with things like, do I wish the Eladrin is powerless? But then I was like, that's redundant because he's got a master who's still going to be powerful. Just like if you wish for one thing, there's still another bad guy. You can't just wish all the bad guys to be gone because that's too big of a spell mm -hmm. to go wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I so, honestly think it's get get your stuff back. Be glad the fact that you, as we all know, you got some other cool shit, um, and we just got out of the Underdark or whatever it's called, the Fade Dark, with a cleric. So my God, has it been useful already? <laughs> yeah i genuinely so. i like i genuinely when when i was like okay Kirk's, Kirk's unconscious and then obviously like they did what they would do like the, yeah the, like if they, they they literally just prey on the on like oh there's a weak link go it it, was, it, like, it, it was it was the three attacks that i was like that's yeah, it. I was genuinely like that's from it. the moment that they got to me and that they did three attacks i was like there's there's absolutely there's no way no way. You are yeah, prone that's... to the head of advantage. As soon as they hit, it's a critical. Two hits, you're dead. That's it, done. You know, and, they, mm -hmm. and then they, 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 these things can't be reasoned with. As you say, you know, we, as also with, with the characteristics that we saw, they're going after blood. It's exactly what they would do. 100%. Yeah. That was incredible. So do you want to know what creatures we fought today, then? Yes. We had, yeah, we had good ideas. So I'll start with the little red hatted creatures. They were red caps. Wow. Actually search for them, but they are um, born of bloodlust and pretty much are attracted to blood, um, but also like to draw blood. Obviously, they are not subtle on the slightest. Oh, do you think they worship fire? They worship what? Oh, is that? That's the the fallen god of crime, no, think murder, behind the evil murder. Sword, the oh, murder wow. god. Yeah. yeah. We yeah, could have captured one and used it to track down the Stillman. 
I mean. <laughs> like a little door that on a leash. I actually wrote down a question to ask what were the evil Smurfs? So that was something you told me. <laughs> the evil Smurfs. Well, bearing in mind this is out of character. Um, yeah. Who do you think yeah, the Shadow know. Man is then? Do you think he is the long lost lover of the Queen? Yeah, probably. The probably. But then, probably. if he's lost, he's, he's not really lost if he's just around the corner, in the, is he? Maybe he can't Depends, get out. He might be trapped here. Yeah, yeah, he might be trapped here. If he's if she's the queen of the Fey Dark and he's trapped in the Fey Dark, he's not lost to her, is he? Unless he's trapped in that little bit near the tree, and he, and he can't go too far from the tree. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. What was the guardian? So, for any Witcher fans out there. That was based on a lesion. I got that. But hmm. upgraded significantly. Very cool. Oh. Very, very cool. So okay. he had... I... He was trying to polymorph Dargon? Yes, he was trying to polymorph Dargon. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. In two? Did you made the save? It would have been something a rabbit small. A, a kitten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it would have been something Whoop. very small and that it would have just left you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it regained 20 hit points at the start of every turn as long as it had one hit point. Um, it was vulnerable to fire damage. That's why I, I, did, I, did, I did. Yeah, I did. I didn't have anything. I don't have anything. No, don't have fire. Um, like the only fire, the only cast... fire attack I have is is um, flame strike, and I didn't have that prepared because. Yeah, and that storm spell that it cast was the ninth level storm of vengeance spell. Fucking hell! I don't, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, put it this way: the first couple of rounds, it does nothing. Had it got to yeah. round five, yeah, that that could have been interesting. <laughs> I did, I, I did get the feeling that it was getting worse. It was getting worse and worse. Yeah. It did feel like Pretty round cool. twelve rounds with him, did it? We had quite a lot of rounds. I don't know how many there were. But... It, it goes longer when you no, when you roll know. bad and yeah, like I wasn't adding anything to the fight. It just seemed like it was going on. I was like, oh, if I try and get the acorn, then maybe he'll just stop. Hey, but what you didn't do in fight number one, you compensated for in fight number two. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. I, I genuinely, do, I? I, I genuinely thought that was it. Like when when Kirik went down, I was like, because I know, I know, maybe Bothrid, but who knows if he's got that prepared? Like. I was like, he yeah, that's it. That's... <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and also it's like trying to get you out. I think technically, I think Ander has enough money if we could find someone to do resurrection. Yeah, or raise dead or something. Ra raise dead. It might be raise I dead. Was... Twenty five thousand gold, whichever one it is. I think you know. I think we would cobble oh, together that's... and have enough. That's true resurrection, I think, the 25,000 one. Yeah. yeah that's, that's... So I was looking at the resurrection spell in between turns and the raise dead spell and the re... No, not the re... I looked at raise dead and reincarnation. But raise dead got you back to one hit point and so did revivify. But then I was trying to find one that just got you back and then you were up and ready to fight, as in had a lot of hit points, but I couldn't find one. But then actually it worked out for the best because how would I know those spells? Yeah, I've yeah. seen you do revivify, so I would know revivify. Other than that, I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, yeah. To work. True, yeah, true resurrection. I think that... I think is the one that brings you back, even if you don't have a body. Isn't that right? And that does bring you back to like full health. Yeah, and that's. But I, I believe that's ninth level, so you wouldn't be able to cast it anyway. Because I think it has to be eighth or lower. It's got to be eighth or lower. Yeah, can you not ca can, lower. can you not cast it? But you are then at the risk of something else. At risk of, no. you know, like so asking to if do. If you're it. trying to duplicate using the wish spell, it has yeah. to be eighth level or lower. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, no, it absolutely makes sense that he only knows about Revivify yeah. because he's Just... he's not he's not like really a caster. Well, it's a half caster, but and yeah, and I've the Kibik has never used Race Dead, so yeah, that's true. And he, uh, I guess he talked about it. He talked about like how he has the power to resurrect for a longer period of time because we were talking about that when it was the whole Vraker thing. Uh, we talked about how. Like, I think Kirik mentioned, like, oh, it needs to be a minute, but now I've got this thing that allows me to resurrect, like, ten days later. Yeah. But that was just hearsay. We've never seen it cast, so... So, yeah, absolutely makes sense that you would cast for River 5. I closed um... my character sheet at that point. I was, <laughs> like, I literally closed my character sheet. <laughs> we'll close. And you then you were like, I cast for River 5. I'm like, fuck, this is me done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was ready to. And I was rolling out the backup character there for a second. Yeah, I was, I was ready for it. I really don't want to wish for my stuff back now because I wanted to do that and then have one left. But now I'm not going to have one left. It's made my decision harder. But, but then again, you've got you've got I'm, you've got all your coin. Are you going to go to Mephisto and just try and get everything else again? Not everything else. Not exactly the same stuff. But you are now a new. Maybe you can. There might, to be fair, if I've got all my stuff back, there might be stuff that I, that I trade in. But although I'm not a big sword person, I want to keep my Dragon Slayer Rapier because Zippin' Ears out there somewhere. <laughs> and in the Feywild, everything seems to go down quicker if you set it on fire. So it might be handy to have a flame sword. Yeah. Unless well, I'm learning true. some. It might have also been useful to have some face laying arrows, I guess, when you're fighting. Yeah, it would, have been, it would have been really helpful. <laughs> I've gone through the whole Fey Wild and I've not fucking used them. That's what they're there for. And now they're gone. <laughs> now they're gone. I, don't know. I was thinking. I'll, I'll tell you what, like, another thing that really messed us up in that first fight was the fact that I didn't have any damage dealing spells prepared. And, and yes, yeah. yeah, and having obviously Ander like away, and even even that like even if he was in, he doesn't have his his like equipment, and then Dargon kind of closed in on a on a circle of ice. It was just it was just both three dealing damage like literally because I couldn't do anything. I I like That's I tried awesome. light of light of damage today. Yeah, yeah, yeah light is like spell ring. No. yeah. Uh, yeah, I did see but it needs. It, it doesn't need to be on you. It can just be a spell that you see. But the oh. ring requires attunement anyway. But yeah, we really should have taken that long rest. And I don't know why we didn't think about it. Apart from the fact that, like we said, we we were like, let's get out of here. But I mean. That was a stupid... Because also, it wasn't actually many... Well, yeah, of course I would have got my Warlock slots back. But actually, it was all my fighter actions that I would have got back in uh, as a short rest. And I would have got things like Action Surge. So I would have been able to whip around Kirik just dismantling those red caps, hopefully. I mean, and, yeah. and hit points. like And hit yeah, points, you would have actually been up. So, oh my god, it's just like... I can't believe that for the first time we didn't go, oh, should we have a short rest? Let's, we were like, no, let's get out of here, be fine. Wow. And even if I was to not wish for my stuff back and buy some cool stuff from Mephisto and I wished to know what the prophecy is, it's not what the fuck would we do with that information anyway. It's not. It might not necessarily end the campaign because we still don't know Oh yeah, it would, it would be pointing in the right direction. It would mean, but it, it yeah, it may still mean that it's like it's all well and good knowing the prophecy, but we, there's like stuff still in Shiver Spire or wherever it is. Like, you, <laughs> great, you know it's the prophecy, but you need this bloody dagger and key that goes with it. You've still got to come up, you know. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to help us stop whoever's puppeteering the whole thing is it also depending on how, how annoying matt matt wanted to be it'd be like i wish to know the prophecy and and you know and, and you get a little voice you will <laughs> <laughs> yeah in just, time just, in yes time. Ju just just pop off to here and you'll know it <laughs> or there's another prophecy <laughs> that that over instead. and moved him in time to the point where she made the prophecy and dumped him there <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, or there's another prophecy that somebody else told, and I learned that one instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so. Uh, Do you want to know how many spell slots Kirik has at the moment? Two. Two. I'm, I'm going to assume one. Two. Whoa. Two. Shit. I did one, notice at the end where you one were like, third I'm going to cast that at <laughs> second level. Yeah. Uh, I've got one first level and one third. Yeah. That was my big, that was my big conundrum. I was going to cast Mass Healing Word, but I was like, hang on. If I cast Mass Healing Word, that's my third. That's my last third level spell slot. And if I need to use Revivify, then tough shit. <laughs> yeah, but we were going to need Revivify on you. <laughs> that was what was worrying yeah. me. I thought I thought Botter is going to go down. Like I literally thought that was going to happen. Very close. Yeah, at one yeah. Point. yeah. We, well, I was. That was dangerously close, and I was. I, yeah, I was trying to think of both. Like no, I just needed to keep keep you alive, and then it was like yeah. if we were able to turn. But yeah, I was like, oh man, I really wish I had some, some dope fighter shit at that point. <laughs> the fights were also that grueling that we've kind of brushed over the fact that um, I've made a blood oath with the dry yeah. Oh, God. oh yeah, yeah, you've also done that. <laughs> I've got returning year. It once, I'm like, once a year, yeah, yeah. But what's what's that? What, what's a year in the Feywild? It might be twenty minutes to her. I might just get out, and she thinks a year's gone past. <laughs> you, should, you should ask her what the time dilation is between planes. Yeah, what happens? I mean, yeah, because what the hell? I mean, it could, it could, could be friggin' ages by the time that we yeah, get I, out. I know that. I've I've made that. There is a time dilation between the planes. <laughs> Just need to figure out. Are they behind? Oh, if head? we ask, um, if we ask, uh, what's his name? Ethereal, he'll, he'll yeah, know, probably. I'll ask the dryad because we've got to take the acorn back to her for her to save me. Also, so, we could we we could work out by the number of days we've been out of the the Feywild, the number of days we've been in the Feywild, and then ask Captain Swift how long they think it's been. <laughs> oh yeah, Captain Swift is still here. Yeah, yeah, those <laughs> people that we haven't spoken to in fucking years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we haven't got the sending stone anymore because my equipment's gone. No, I have it. Oh, okay. We yeah, walked into the Feywild and I had it. So yeah, yes. you can talk to him any time anyway. then, you ignorant sod. Yeah, no, but it's only yeah. been, it's only been a couple of hours. <laughs> We've been busy. Just We've yeah, been busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little busy at the moment. <laughs> Do you think actually I could talk to the Dryad spirit and she could put in a word with her mum so I don't have to come and see her every year? I mean, have I essentially agreed to Thanksgiving dinner every year with the in-laws? Yeah, I'm, so. I'm sure that's going to go. I'm sure that's going to go great. Uh, how like half an hour after you make the blood oath, being like, can I just skip this? Yeah. Also, <laughs> also, what 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 did the what did the tree say to you afterwards? Don't try and get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they did say that. <laughs> I would. It's I would, fine. It's fine. Yeah. I would moreover I just simply find out. <laughs> find out if she, if the wh whoever it is can tell you more about what the fuck you just entered into. I'm. I need to ask the dryad as well if her mum is the queen of air and darkness, and is that the same person in the tree, or is the tree? Why would the dryad is a good seely? In the summer, she's in the summer court. So why is her mum's tree in the Fey Dark? Trapped, maybe by the other by the other court. Mm. Yeah, she might be a hostage. Yeah, that's true. And her prison guard is sexy pants. Could be. Also, I wondered when when when. I know only you saw it, Ander, but there was green flames out of his hand. It did make me wonder whether he was the guy sitting round the the camp fire that we didn't go to. Hmm. That's fairy fire coming from his hands, though, isn't it? Oh, is it? We That was the first time we saw that shadow was when we walked past it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And it was coming from, from there. It was coming yeah. from so there. It's... So, yeah. yeah, probably. He, he, he was there. I only thought that as we left, going, oh, green flame. 
And, and I know we've seen Green hate. Flame at the other place, but I was like, yes, but that's the only place we haven't been to. And when yeah, you said show us what you made of the moment then. Oh, sorry. Green Flame. No, just me. <laughs> Nobody watched the hacking. <laughs> So, you know when he called too, us out, too late, said, show, too late, us, but... show us what you're made of, if we'd have called his bluff, what do you think would have happened? Uh, campaign two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we barely you... survived two fights. If we had three today, I, I don't <sighs> think we would have done very well. He didn't interfere, did he? He didn't help us. He didn't not help us either. Didn't hinder us either, yeah. Yeah, which was proper creepy and uneasy. Just, mm. I'm like, I don't like that. Even though we're like, That's oh great, every every single th thing that comes up against us fights us, and, th and yet the one person who doesn't, we're like, I don't trust him. <laughs> that's the, that's that's also that's also a thing. Like, can we just? I think we should all appreciate how fucking amazing this cave is. Yeah, like it well has done been, that. It has been amazing been to actually do this proper <laughs> proper you. dungeon crawl. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. really cool. And really has like every everything was just like yeah, like everything came together and it's like oh yeah, this this yeah, I can I can see this being a thing. Yeah, uh, really and cool. and and we really did. It really did test us, you know, which I thought was very, very yeah. cool. Yeah. You know. Especially when you make a stupid decision to go in with no equipment. Uh, no equipment and, not, and a yeah, seriously uh, injured cleric. And we're like, <laughs> yeah, let's just get out of here. It's fine. It's, it's, I need to it's, spend some like, time finding out what that sword does as well, because it might be amazing. <laughs> Looking back at the last two episodes, you can clearly see, like, the, the line of decisions and occurrences. There's, like how they just led to everything culminating today is like <laughs> oh yeah deck of many things loses all the equipment and then it's like <laughs> because that seriously like seriously hindered like your options in combat and damage output and all yeah, that stuff so what, what, like, what, what, what was your bonus bow, to what nothing. was your bonus to the bow uh, so the, the one you, a, with, the normal one with the magic arrows it's plus nine to hit but then, obviously, I could make it my sworn enemy, so it's an extra three d six damage. And what were you rolling well, today? What was what was, your, what was your plus today on, on a normal arrow, a normal bow? It's plus eight. You're rolling some so really bad rolls with that bow, then, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. that was some unlucky stuff. That was using steady aim to have advantage on some of them and still doing really shit. Oh, that's got to mm. suck. Well, you're rolling and, like twos and threes and stuff. Yeah. Just unlucky. I'll, I was oh, just I getting like twelves yeah. and thirteens, all, and it was like oh, my class mm -hmm. weren't hitting it. But I also need to apologise to Matt because how much could he have spoon fed that the shimmer of my material matched the shimmer of that sexy pants, and I just didn't pick up on it. <laughs> he was literally going, "Yeah, Danny, open your mouth. It's a clue. It's a clue." I just weren't taking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear, man. Uh, what, yes, but it's whether you got the right the... clue now, mate. Yeah, there you go. I mean, what I was don't the of the trust any, any conclusion I've come up with ever, so who knows? What was the spell DC of the Guardian? No, the AC. The AC. The AC was 19. Oh, yeah, because I wasn't hitting with 17, so... Mm. Pretty buff. Pretty buff. Yeah, it was effectively a CR19 foe. Ooh! But as I was I saying to uh, the boys in the break... I'm too tired. I could, there was lair actions that I could have used as well, but I was just there like, this is too much oh, to try and deal with. Right. So I'm just going to leave that yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it reduced the I mean, CR it a was bit. Still, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it still had like legendary resistances and stuff, which only used one. <laughs> like, I mean, legendary pressed. resistance. It felt like you did about 15 legendary actions. I was like, this motherfucker's a badass. Yeah, well, three. Yeah, it, it'll gets, be... So it had three legendary actions, but it regains all of those at the beginning of its next turn. So it's effectively got three legendary actions it can use per round. Okay. That was the first. That was the first legendary creature we fought, right? Zapanir. Uh, we haven't sort of fought Zapanir, but Zapanir. The, 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 there was a the, the dragon that we fought on the blimp uh, on the ship. That was it. Did. I was thinking a dragon used legendary actions against us. Yeah, Did that wasn't legendary. legendary. That was an adult dragon, wasn't it? He used legendary actions, uh, didn't he? 
I can't remember if he did. Or did... It, who else have we thought? Somebody's using a legend... Somebody else has used a legendary action against us. I can't remember. But, may, yeah, it's possible. I mean, it's been a I year. Th- I'm thinking so. you're right, Dave. I think it was when we was on the airship. That's the only one I can think of. Might I could be been. wrong, but might have been. I think... Yeah, I think they, they do usually have it. I mean, we can always go back. We can always go back. We can always check. That's the wonderful thing about this. Well, that... Shotgun nut. Once again, Matt, was an amazing, amazing wow. episode. Absolutely incredible session, whatever you want to oh, call it. Um, awesome. I cannot wait to see what um, what Anders going to do. Um, and, yeah, let's move on to yet more Feywild. Mm-hmm. So I need my stuff back because if we end up in a scrap, we're Continue on this arc. Let's <laughs> let's let's get our friends back and 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 have an easy ride for the rest of the. <laughs> no, I can't even finish it. Um, let's let's have a rest. <laughs> let's have a rest at some point. Let's, yeah, let's have a rest in the in the, in the um in the, in the summer grove or whatever. I just thought I could wish for Vraco to be better when we get to him, if we get to him. It's but all up nah. to you. <laughs> if he's dead, does that? Does, if he's dead, does that count as better? What's yeah. the? What's the? <laughs> he's a, he's at peace. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh dear me. Okay. All right. On that note. <laughs> Guys, thank you ever so much for uh, for tuning in tonight for our madness and our after you know, our chat about our little session on the Monday night that uh, that we had. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. I hope you've uh, also managed to catch our episodes on a Monday night on Twitch. Uh, follow us uh, on twitch.tv forward slash Malt Magic. I believe the link is. Um, Follow us on, well, sorry, subscribe to our channel if you can. We would love you to on YouTube. Like the videos. It really does help us out. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much for tuning in and watching our utter and complete silly rambles. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Good night.